Hi, my name is Adi Chen. I'm a writer and a photographer and the editor of The Boilermaker, which is the new Gentleman's Journal of Drink. My favorite thing about the London bar scene is that we get the best of both leading drinks trends, which are the trend for molecular, for dry ice and smoke, and the trend for speakeasies. Small underground escapes, mostly known by locals, that serve amazing classic cocktails. The Worship Street Whistling Shop is one of London's latest speakeasies and it's a, it's a modern take on a 17th century gin palace with lots of homemade cocktails and their own classic laboratory in the back. Nightjar is a surprisingly large take on the speakeasy trend. It's live jazz, it's fantastic smoke-infused cocktails and it's great for a very late East London escape. London doesn't have many really good drinking brunch spots, but up on Exmouth Market, after a late night, nothing beats a brunch at Caravan with strong Antipodean coffees, and maybe follow with a cheeky cocktail. Two Floors is a bit of a personal weakness, and for some reason, they have a knack of attracting the best possible people behind the bar. ZTH is the cocktail bar in the Zeta Townhouse, a new Clark and Well hotel. It's a very modern twist on 18th century cocktails. It's quintessentially British and it's incredibly eccentric. The Artesian at the Langham is an opulent bar designed by Dave Collins and the rum collection is out of this world. For a long time there was nothing to, to drink in Chinatown and the Experimental Cocktail Club has really up the game down there. It's a pricey treat in the cocktail world. The drinks are classics made perfectly and served in stunning, stunning surroundings. The Portobello Star out in West London is essentially a pub that happens to serve some of West London's top drinks. Uh, it, the best thing about it is you could walk right past it and assume it was just an ordinary dive bar come pub and step in, order a cocktail and be very surprised. Mm -hmm.